private lives is about the state of the human undercarriage. <laughs> so private lives is about Amanda and Elliot, who are a recently divorced couple. Who are both recently remarried and they are both on their honeymoons and they are both staying at the same hotel. Not only that, but their rooms are next to each other and they bump into each other on the first night of both of their new honeymoons and chaos ensues. That has devastating and irreparable consequences. It is an encyclopedic examination into desperate, unbridled passion. This play, particularly the reason it survived, is how much there is underneath it all and how much emotional depth uh, and, and sort of profound truth there is in what happens. So it's a sparkling comedy full of all sorts of joy and brilliant wordplay and physical slapstick and music and dance, but also quite a sad story of two people who just love each other but can't make it work. I was struck by how funny it is, but also how fresh it feels. It doesn't feel quite as period as I thought it was going to. The language is so of today, whilst also being hilarious and clearly coward and clearly a style, but very fresh. I was very surprised, having had no frame of reference, at, at just how dark it is. Uh, he tackles some, some tough subjects, but it's very romantic, uh, poignant and sad. It just engages your heartstrings and your head. So the head, because the language is so wonderful and perfect and um, beautifully constructed, and your heartstrings, because you really do love them and you love what they bring out in each other. I can't think of too many plays that, that juggles romance and, and sadness and, and, and violence and, you know, with with great wit. And it's, you know, a petri dish of the best bits and the worst bits of humanity, that wonderful love, love, passionate love. And then, you know, what jealousy and hatred and cruelty and possessiveness can do to a relationship. Private Lives is such a great play. It's normally done in huge theatres because it can fill huge theatres. It can fill a 2000 seater because people love Coward. They love this play because it's so funny and moving. We're doing it at the Donmar, which is an incredibly intimate space. We're knee to knee with the audience here. They are in the relationship with us. You are in the armpit of the actor, <laughs> which is, believe it or not, a thrilling thing <laughs> for both actor and audience. 